First, let me say that uh, uh, each and every one of the patients who we currently have uh, are being supported following positive uh, uh, outcomes in regard uh, to the coronavirus are still doing well, so that's very good. Um, it's a, uh, a rolling situation though, um, and we have uh, had the people who were referred to uh, yesterday um, as being uh, now being uh, examined for the virus um, have been cleared. And in fact, we've had uh, now another uh, um, total of 10 people who have uh, come forward and who have been given the clearance. So that's a very positive outcome and it remains that uh, it's a very positive, um, a, a very positive situation that patients are putting themselves forward. So again, as Health Minister here in New South Wales, I thank people for doing that. Um, it is fantastic. Uh, we currently have, though, another six today who are currently uh, um, being, uh, being uh, considered in terms of the pathology uh, to make sure that they uh, either do or don't, hopefully don't have, uh, the coronavirus. Now, while this situation has been unfolding uh, worldwide, there have been uh, some different reports around uh, the uh, um, capacity to pass on the coronavirus or to... Uh, to uh, have um, to, to actually get the virus uh, in, a, in a particular period of usually zero to 14 days. We all know that um, uh, patient, people who uh, are asymptomatic, uh, that is they have no symptoms, um, we have accepted that there's a period of somewhere between about two and 14 days to actually determine whether or not you actually do have the coronavirus. And so that reflects the science and the medicine that it's a bit difficult to be precise. Um, and we're also aware that uh, uh, with the return of students tomorrow um, to, uh, to schools across New South Wales, uh, and by that I mean primary schools, um, uh, secondary schools, uh, TAFEs um, and, uh, and preschools, that uh, some, there has been some concern in the community about whether or not it's appropriate for those uh, children who may have been in China to attend our schools. Uh, the Minister will have more to say on this and the Minister of Education will have more, have more to say on it at the moment, but can I say as Health Minister here in New South Wales, the accepted advice, understood advice, from both the Federal Health Authorities and the State Health Authorities is that uh, there are no apparent risks to those children uh, if they were to uh, return to our school or indeed to other children in the school. But this is one of those really difficult times when elected officials have to weigh up all the evidence. And this has not been easy. Uh, we have listened intently to the various medical experts and evidence. Um, and in the end, as Minister for Health here and the Minister for Education, Sarah Mitchell and I have come to the same view. And that is that uh, we will be asking parents um, who may have holidayed with their children in China over the Christmas and our New Year period, um, if they have uh, uh, not yet been out of China for uh, 14 days, then we're going to ask those parents, and I stress ask those parents, to do what everybody else has been doing so well um, in this difficult time, and that is to support the community by uh, holding back your children from going to each one of those facilities. Uh, this is an extra step and I'm going to just ask the Minister for Education to make comment about that. So as the Minister for Health has said, we know that there is advice in relation to the measures that are in place that we've been giving to our principals and our families, but he and I are in complete agreement that to take this extra step as a precautionary measure to make sure that our children are safe in our schools uh, and our early childhood facilities, we think it's the right one. Uh, we're asking parents to keep their children at home. We know uh, that many in the community have been uh, wanting to see this and I think it's important that we are taking this as a precautionary measure uh, in line with community sentiment but also knowing that we're doing everything that we can uh, even though the risk is low to ensure the safety of our children in that school environment.